Hey. Hey you. Yes, you. You walked past my bench. You're supposed to pet me. I mean, you seem like the type of person who would do it correctly and look, I'm laid out exactly in the right position with my body half curled and my belly presented and everything. Why are you ignoring me? I don't just let anyone pet me, you know. It's a huge privilege, and it's one I suggest you take advantage of before I decide to revoke it. I don't understand what you're waiting for. I've given you a clear invitation. I'm not going to bite or scratch you unless you try anything. Like touching my belly. I don't like my belly touched. It's sensitive and fragile. See? This is how it's supposed to work. You sit there on the end, and I lay my head on your lap. This is comfy, right? Now, I like my ears and my cheeks pet, but anywhere on my head is fine. Well, except the eyes, mouth, and the front of my ears. <laughs> hey! What's dripping on my head? I, I hate water. Stop that. Oh. You're crying. That means you feel bad about something, right? Well, whenever I feel bad, I like to be pet. Maybe petting me will make you feel better, too. It certainly makes me feel good. Did you just laugh? I suppose that's an improvement over the tears. N now stop dallying and scratch my ears. There. Aren't they so soft and fluffy? Everyone always compliments me on them, especially the color. Apparently, there aren't many silver-furred neckos. All the others are orange or brown or black or white. Not me, though. I'm special. At least, that's what the people who keep petting me say. But I heard one call a different Neko special the other day, so I think they might be exaggerating. You're still crying? I don't understand. You're still sad, but why? Doesn't petting me feel good? I like it, so that must mean you like it too, right? What do you mean that's not how that works? I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, everyone else seems to enjoy petting me. Well, fine. If you're going to make a fuss about it, then I'll rub up against you and pet myself. I like your clothes. They feel good against my cheek. Yes, just let me mark you all up with my scent. What's got you so bothered anyways? Someone take your food or steal away your well-earned attention? Yeah, that sounds rough. So what did you do about it? Mm, no, I probably would have done something similar. 
No way. That's crazy. What? No, I'm listening. <sighs> I'm listening to every word. Oh, hey, you don't need to sob like that. It's kind of annoying. Are you still sad, even after I marked you? Well, you're needy. What's a hippo crate? Sounds tasty. Can I have one? Now you're sobbing and laughing? I don't understand humans. I really don't know what to do. Um, well, I like being pet. So if I were you and I felt sad, then... What if I pet you? That's kind of weird. I've never done it before since everyone else seems content to just pet and groom me. But maybe. Maybe I could try and make you feel good. What a strange concept. <laughs> I've never thought about that before. Would you let me try? Okay. Well, you don't really have a lot to pet, so I guess I'll stroke your hair? Is this okay? Is this nice? I can go closer to your scalp if you want. I just saw the way you decompressed there. It feels good then, right? Yes. Just let all that stress melt away. You have pretty hair. I kind of want to eat it. But I'm sure you wouldn't like that. It feels like you put a lot of time into grooming it. Don't want me to mess it up, right? <laughs> mm, it's so fuzzy and warm. Makes me want to nuzzle into it. Yeah, I want a bed made out of this stuff. That would be nice. <laughs> but then I'd really have to defend it, because every Neko in the park would try to steal something so comfy. They don't usually cause too much problems. We have an understanding, you see. We share the park and the people, and the food, even if we don't want to. Not perfectly, of course. I've seen quite a few fights in my day. Nothing major, just a few hisses and swats. But when there's so much to go around, there's really no need to get yourself injured over anything. Speaking of, I'm kind of glad no other Nekos have interrupted us yet. I want you and your pretty hair all to myself. Those other Neckos. They're opportunistic vultures. If you butter a guest up and get them to pet you or feed you, the cats will swarm in to try to take the spoils that they didn't earn. Not like me. I deserve the pets and the food I take away from the other Neckos. But I'm happy in the park, for the most part. I have everything I need right here. What more could I possibly want? Even when I get sick, some kind volunteers take care of me.
It's perfect. Do I want to be adopted? Eh, not really. There's no one I want to be adopted by. That's the important bit, you know. You don't want just anyone to take you in. It takes a certain kind of person to care for an echo. <sighs> well, if you've calmed down now, I'm going to lay my head back down on your lap. I'm <sighs> tired. I only slept, what? Five hours today, and it's already dusk? That's seven whole hours of activity. I really pushed myself. I deserve this. What do I do all day? Well, wander the park, mark up visitors, get fed, get pet, fend off other neckos who get too close. Take naps. Oh, it's the hardest job in the world, really. I should get a gold medal. You keep laughing, but I don't understand what you find so funny about me. I'm completely serious. Well, I'm going to nap if you don't mind. So be quiet. What? Do you really have to go? I'm so comfy. Can't you stay for a few more minutes? Thank you. Mm, see, this is nice. We should stay like this forever. No reason not to. Just snuggling together as the sun sets. Never mind. I'm done. You can leave. Uh, I'll probably be here tomorrow if you want to come by. I might even let you pet me again if you do. Bringing food up to your chances. So, goodbye. Hey. Wait. Come back for a moment. Before you leave, I... I hope you feel better. I really do. I don't... Ugh. Ugh. Like sad people. Mm-hmm. <sighs>